Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's great to be with you again. I was thinking to myself as I was on Facebook. You know, everybody's on Facebook. And every time you go on Facebook, there's always a million voices that are speaking to you at once. You know, somebody's always posting on your wall something and always looking for a response. And I started thinking about how many voices are speaking in our lives today, just in the things that go on in the world that speak fear, speak doubt, speak poverty, speak sickness and disease. Fear. I, I keep hearing fear in the hearts of people, fear of what their future w- would hold. And I started thinking how how the Word of God says that His voice is the still, small voice, the voice that speaks hope and peace in the midst of difficult times. And I started thinking, wouldn't it be great, God, if one time when I went on Facebook and there posted on the wall was your voice? You know, or if I'm driving down the road and I see a billboard and all of a sudden, you know, I've been looking for that answer. I've been looking to hear from you. And all of a sudden I look up and God just speaks and says, hey, Jenny, I've got a message for you today. Or if I'm veering off course and maybe, you know, you would just come and just give me a little gentle knock on the side of my head and say, hey, you know what? You're just getting a little off track. You just need to get back over here with me. But unfortunately, it just doesn't happen that way. As much as we would love it to be, that he would just parade it before us, it just doesn't come that way. And I started thinking, how does God really speak to us every day, whether we're going through good times or bad times? And I thought, it is that voice that comes when, say, you're driving down the road, and all of a sudden there's this impression that comes on the inside of you. And all of a sudden, you'll see somebody's face or hear their name, and you feel prompted to pray for them. You know, those are the times that God really speaks. That's the time when he puts something inside of you and says, I know that this situation looks bad, but you know, I'm there with you. I'm there for you. I'm there to help you. And so to hear that still, small voice, you know, begins by getting into his word and understanding the character of God and what he has for us, what his purpose is for us. His thoughts for us are good things. He believes for good things for us to prosper in every area of our lives. But as much as we would rather it be that all of a sudden out of nowhere, that billboard, he would just speak, go here, do this, you'll get that. You know what? It doesn't come that way but it comes with the relationship and comes in knowing the still small voice that's on the inside of you. Those spontaneous impressions that he gives where he begins to speak hope and he begins to speak peace into your life. And so whatever you're going through this week, you know, stop for a minute and think about how does God really see me and what does he really want for me? And I guarantee you will hear his still, small voice. Until next time, stay close to him. Stay intimate with him. Because he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. But he will always bring you to a good place. God bless.